Welcome back to another Legendary Raid video. And right now I'm just going to focus on what you should use against an Articuno. Um, so personally I use the Golem with Rock Throw, Stone Edge, Caesar with Bullet Punch, Iron Head, RK9, Fire Fang, Fire Blast, Flareon, um, Ember, or Fire Spin, uh, or Fire Blast, or over Overheat, Ampharos, um, Thun or uh, Zap Cannon, and Thundershock. Uh, you can use anything with Stone Edge. Uh, a Lapras, you could use that. Um, granted, uh, you know, it's everything it does, it's not going to do much to you. Uh, Tyranitar with Stone Edge uh, and Iron Tail because Steel is strong against Ice, so... Actually, that's a very good combo. So Iron Iron Tail, Tyranitar with Stone Edge. That's going <laughs> to be a beast there. Um, because all of its attacks are ice. Pretty sure. So far. So nothing would be effective against it. Also, Caesar, something that you don't really see much. Uh, it's ice, so uh, it, <laughs> it's steel type. So ice doesn't do very much damage at all. It's not very effective. So that's a good one, <clears throat> and your steel is super effective to it. And on the other hand, Golem is weak against the ice, so it's double effective, but at the same time, if you don't dodge or you get hit, uh, then you're going to take quite a bit of damage. So you can use the fire types. Everything Articuno does won't affect them at all. It's not very effective. Flareon will do a good job. Um, you could use Charizard. But um, make sure he doesn't have a, an air attack for his first attack. Maybe make sure he has Ember or uh, Fire Spin because flying is not very effective because it's ice type. All right. And I don't know how much damage it's going to do to your Charizard because I haven't even tried that yet. So with that being said, uh, yeah, those are pretty much, you know, the Pokemon that I use personally. There's, you know, many others. You can use a Jolteon, anything with Stone Edge or... Um, steel type. I wouldn't recommend using a Steelix. I mean, you can. If you're in a big group, Steelix actually would be a pretty good idea. Um, it's just the problem is the DPS is very low. So if you're in a smaller group, you might not want to use them because you won't be contributing that much. Therefore, the timer might, might run out on you guys. And uh, yeah, you have to do it over. But, you know, if you have stronger people, you know, go ahead. I've seen people just using a Blissey. As you can see, all the people around... Uh, you generally using pretty good Pokemon that Ursa Ring probably has, um, said, uh, Metal Claw. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what I recommend using as far as catching. Okay. Uh, if you want to know some sort of secret tip, you can go for the guarantee or that, that means excellent throw with the golden raspberry, um, which I've gotten. One catch actually like that. It was a Lugia, I think. Yeah, I, I might. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Lugia. Uh, I've gotten many excellent throws, a lot of bad throws as well. But uh, the excellence when I land them, I mean, Golden Raspberry, it shakes one time and it bursts out like, <laughs> no, no, not even. What, what, what does excellent mean? The game says like, no, no, there's no such thing here. So um, it, it's it's really iffy. But that's just me personally. I'm pretty sure other people have great luck. Uh, <laughs> maybe not, but then again, there is a, another, uh, trainer here that I need to show you guys. He's got actually not the one who had 10, but there's another one I just got done with the raid with. He watches my videos. I talk to him from time to time and he has, I believe 12 Lugia, something like that. Yeah. 12 Lugia and quite a bit of Arcuno. So, and his CPs are high. He is a 97 one. So pretty jealous of that <laughs> considering I powered mine up, but I saw somebody else uh, powered those up pretty good, and it was 97, and didn't, wasn't very much higher, so there you go, caught that Articuno, bingo, bango, that's nice, so I have quite a bit of Articuno raid footage ahead for you guys, so I'm not going to talk throughout this whole thing, but uh, let's recap really quick, this is just my personal uses, uh, so usually bottom of the line would be Ampharos, but then again, I should usually put him at the top. I, he's usually hanging out at the bottom because he's the last one I pick. 
a lot of times I jump into these lobbies and the and the lobby's already started. It's down to like 20 seconds. So uh, you got to pick quick. And sometimes you rush from one legendary raid to another. And the ones that you use are the ones that you use, like Golem and, you know, your top ones that you're using to fight these legendary birds. And they're not healed up. So it's like, ah, you got to hurry up and heal them. You have 20 seconds or use your blissies that it's recommending. Why is it recommending blissies? What is going on here? Come on. But for some reason, actually, the recommendation has gotten better. And I also gotten a tip from somebody else at a raid um, about the moves that the Pokemon is going to have before you start it, it'll you can kind of have a hint if it puts in blissies it's probably going to have hydro pump this is my personal experience and personally for you it might be different because you have different pokemon for your recommendation or in your inventory but if it recommends rock type it doesn't have a uh hydro pump. <laughs> i'm talking about lugia i said hydro pump sorry guys that's for lugia okay uh, for this one, I'm not too sure on how the recommendations are going to go. It's usually probably the fire types. But actually for uh, Lugia, let me tell you really quick. If it has a Blissey out there, it's probably got Hydro Pump. If it has Golems, it probably has some sort of like extra sensory or I mean uh, Future Sight or um, the other flying one that has there, the three attack one. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and enjoy the rest of the footage of me catching Articuno's. Not really. <laughs> they all pretty much get away. So anyways, take care, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, catch you later.
okay. And um, somehow, I don't know what happened to the footage right there. That thing ran away, so <laughs> there's no mystery to that. Uh, just wanted to pop in and tell you that.